does running slow help you to run fast? It's a question I see popping up everywhere. It's a question I've asked myself. But haven't been running for just two months. My opinion is, yeah, it does work. That's the short answer anyway. Stick around if you want to hear my reasons as to why I think running slow to run fast actually works. So the first reason I think that running slow helps you to run fast actually works is if you're running as fast as you can all the time so you can try and get faster as such then it's kind of like going to the gym and lifting the heaviest weights every single time like you're gonna feel sore like you're gonna hurt and there's gonna be increased risk that you're gonna pick up an injury and then that leads to being less consistent which effectively will slow you down running slow leads to more consistency lower injury risk so then you will then be running faster because you're running more consistently over a longer period of time so running slow you can also run a lot further than you could if you were constantly running fast if you're running fast all the time you're going to run out of energy so the slower you run the further you can run therefore building your aerobic capacity to be able to go then further distances and run those distances quicker over a period of time pretty much all of my running as up until recently has been slow running and this is why I can say that yes it does work because I've been running slow I started running slow I'm still running slow but it's faster than it was when I originally started so running slow does help to make you faster as long as you stay consistent people do run fast they will add speed sessions in fart decks but running slow does actually help to make you faster on your slower runs and over distance running slow also helps your body recover after you've done a hard session so if you've been out doing fart legs tempo speed runs whatever it is if you've done a hard session even if it's a session in the gym a slow run will help your body recover because you're not pushing it to the limits it's nice and easy your heart rate's not going through the roof and that's another thing on the slow runs your heart rate's down low and that's another way you can measure that you've increased your speed over time so I've been using the math tone method where I keep my heart rate to a set on average I think mine's 143 when I started running I was running at 7 minutes 43 per kilometer and now I'm in the sixes 6.25 to 6.40 something like that on my long runs or on my slow runs there's an average pace 
at the same heart rate. So it does work. You just have to be consistent with it. Can't just go out for one slow ride and be like, that's it, I'm gonna get a PB now. I'm just giving you my basic understanding of what's happened to me over the last two months. And that is, I've been running slow and I've got faster. That's the long and the short of it. So it does work. But basically, your heart and your lungs and your muscles in your body are getting stronger. So they're able to work better together. Make you run faster at the same lower heart rate. Pretty bloody clever really, isn't it? Our bodies. <sighs> So those are all my opinions as to why I think running slow helps you to run fast. But I'm not a scientist, I haven't got any qualifications in sports science. So it is just my opinion, but that's what I found over these past two months. I'm sure there's plenty of science out there to support it. Uh, hence why all these other running channels are telling you to run slow, to run fast. I don't think it's just a trend. I think it's something that actually works, tried and tested, even with professionals. <laughs> Pretty much done on this run. Sunday long run. So uh, just over 13 kilometers down. I'll be finishing next 200 meters. So uh, yeah. See you on the next one.